Hi boys and girls, today in this video I'm going to talk about 7-6. 7-6 is dividing a decimal by a decimal. So on the outside and on the inside you will have a decimal. So both your divisor and your dividend will be a decimal. So the steps that we take to complete a problem like this are very similar to the steps that we took yesterday. Remember on the outside as our divisor over here we cannot have a decimal. So we need to get rid of that. If I had something like 6.6 .6 divided by 0 0.3, remember yesterday we discussed that in order to um, get rid of the decimal on the outside for this divisor over here, I need to move the decimal point to the right however many times until I get a whole number. So in this case I moved it to the right once for that point 0.3 to become 3. So I have to balance it out and do the same thing. Over here in 6.6 .6, I need to move my decimal to the right once. If I did it to both numbers, the divisor and the dividend, I'm good. I basically kind of balanced each other out, and so at the end, I won't have to do anything different. So 6.6 .6 divided by 0.3 is the same thing as 66 divided by 3, because I moved that decimal over here once to the right and once to the right in the dividend. So now down here in my new problem, I can simply complete it like I normally would. 3 goes into this first 6 here, two times, sorry, and that's 6, so I have nothing left. I'll bring down my next 6. Again, 3 goes into 6 twice, and it's exactly 6, so I have nothing left. I don't need to put a, a point zero at the end of 66 or keep going. My answer is simply 22. Let me show you another example. If I were to do the problem 8.4 divided by 0 0.03. My first step is to write it like this. Normally they'll give you the problem um, written left to right like this. So my first step is to write it how we do for the algorithm, which is down below here. And now I cannot have a decimal as the divisor. I can have a decimal inside here, but not on the outside over here. The way I like to think about it is I think about this little, what we call the visor, if you will, as being a little house. So it's really cold outside these days. So I can't have a decimal outside the house. Decimals are so little tiny. Look at that little tiny decimal point. So because decimals are so tiny, they get really cold outside. So we can't have them outside the little shelter, okay? Our little house here, our visor. So I'm gonna move my decimal point twice to the right. And whatever I do on the outside, I have to do on the inside. So now I need to also move my decimal point two times to the right. Why did I move it two times, not one or three? Is because that would make this point zero three a whole three, okay? So I move it to the right as many times as I need to to make my, div uh, my divisor a whole number. So now I'm left with a problem, 840 divided by three. Because I did the same thing over here to my divisor as I did to my dividend right here, moving that decimal point, I'm good to go. I don't need to make any compensation, make any further changes. So this problem up here is the same thing. It's equivalent to 840 divided by three. So I'll get the correct answer. Three goes into eight two times, which is six. I'm gonna bring down my four. Three goes into 24 eight times, which is exactly 24. And three cannot go into zero, so I put a zero at the end to get my final answer of 280. So hopefully this is making sense to you. Basically the two steps that we need to take are moving our decimal point to the divisor as many times as we need to to get a whole number. And then step two is divide your whole numbers like normal using long division. I'm gonna give you a problem to try here. So after I give you this problem, I want you to pause the video and try it on a piece of paper. You will need to bring that piece of paper to me. You'll have two practice problems to do on this piece of paper. This is one of them. So your first question that I want you to try on your paper is 14.36 divided by 0 0.04. Go ahead and pause the video and try that for me now. All right, hopefully you pause the video and you tried this problem over here the answer should be 359. And how I would get that is I'm gonna stack, I'm gonna write my problem like this. 
I need to move this decimal point to the right twice to get a whole number and this one to the right twice. So I end up with 1,436, which is right over here. And then I am dividing that by 4, the whole number 4. 4 goes into 14 3 times because that's 12. 4 goes into 23 5 times, that's 20. So 3 left, bring down my 6. And 4 goes into 36 9 times, that's how I got 359. Okay, I want you to go ahead and on your piece of paper that you did problem number one over here, I want you to below that do problem number two. And the second problem that you're going to do for me is 1.5 divided by 0 0.02. I want you to bring this problem and the answer to class tomorrow and we will discuss it. I hope this helped you understand how to divide two decimal numbers and I will see you guys tomorrow.